Hurricane Ian, which landed in Florida in September 2022, causing significant damage and loss of lives, has driven many news reports about the link between climate change and violent storms. I think the one thing this has finally ended is a discussion about whether or not there's climate change and we should do something about it. A recent BBC reality check film claimed that there is evidence that such storms, driven by climate change, are becoming more violent. Hurricanes are among the most violent storms on Earth, and there's evidence they're getting more powerful. So how do they form, and what impact, if any, is climate change having? But data shows no increase in the frequency of hurricanes in the North Atlantic. The ratio of major storms show that there has been no increase in their intensity over the last century. The strongest hurricanes are categorised as major hurricanes, and the data clearly shows that these are not becoming more common. The conclusion from an increasing number of attempts to find a link between climate change and storms is that there is no strong evidence of century-scale increasing trends for either US landfalling hurricanes and major hurricanes or Atlantic Basin-wide hurricanes. The BBC went on to suggest that the frequency of storms had increased so much that meteorologists had run out of names for them. But in recent years, the hurricane season has been so busy, they've used up the list and had to start again. But until recently, storms that did not develop into tropical storms and hurricanes were not given names. More names are used now because of this policy change, not because of a change in the weather. Other BBC articles quote scientists explaining that many more short-lived storms, which would have been missed before, are now being spotted thanks to satellites. A third comment claimed that though hurricanes usually weaken when they reach land, a recent storm hitting New York picked up enough moisture for the rain to keep on falling, and months' worth of rain fell in just one day. But this amount of rainfall is not a recent phenomenon. Hurricane Ida brought seven inches to the city in two days. But the record rainfall for New York City in a single day was 8.28 inches in 1882. Of the 33 times in which more than a month's average rain fell in one day in New York since 1869, four of these days were in each of the 2000s, the 1930s and the 1900s. There is no evidence yet that climate change is making hurricanes or storms more violent. But there is a growing body of evidence that the BBC's reality check team has lost contact with reality. To find out more, visit the Net Zero Watch website.